Charlemagne, 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 What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Shardimus Prime viewer custom showcase on a number of different custom pieces from a few different viewers. I want to thank you guys so much for making this video possible. If you're trying to get your regular retail figures though, you can do so at... Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dorkside Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. So we have a custom Electro right here that showed up in the PO box, unnamed, so I have no idea who this is from, but thank you for sending this my way. And then we have a whole bunch of can of beans accessories that I'm gonna show you guys. We have some claws, uh, we have some adapters for stands, some blood effects, and then we also have a couple of pieces from fellow action figure reviewer, Daredevil19. We have a custom cape right over there for the Mandalorian and some awesome chains right over there. And then we have this incredible Dio right here from Graves Dioramas, which is freaking cool as hell. So let's start with the Electro figure first. So I could tell whoever customized this figure was, you know, feeling a little bit of frustration not having a classic Electro clearly. Uh, they used the head sculpt uh, from the modern version that we'd gotten, and you can see that right there. There's your comparison with the latest Vintage Collection Wave version, and here's this version, which actually has some nice sculpted electric effects or design patterns right over there. Hey, it goes all the way through into the abs, too. Good job, right on. And same thing with the back of the figure, too. Now, the figure is is chunky a lot of the customizing you can see there's you know a lot of uneven lines as far as like the surface goes you know it is a bit on the chunky side but you know if this was the only classic electro i had in my collection i wouldn't really be that bummed out about it i'd actually be happier with this than some other ones so that's pretty neat and i like the the spikes right over here and this seems to be fairly pliable material yeah it's not too stiff so it's not super brittle or anything i'm not going to try to snap them off but it feels like if you bump them, you're not going to just knock them off. So that's cool. And of course, they did use the Sunfire body mold, as you can see with the articulation. Hey, that's pretty good. You know, no paint rubbing right over there. So it looks like the paint rub issues on this figure are pretty solid. Um, it does come with interchangeable hands, so they did include fisted hands. So as you can see right here, it's from a different figure, though. So these are not painted. It's very smooth and everything. Uh, but yeah, as far as the legs go, I'm just like going through the articulation and I'm not having any paint chipping or weird gaps or stuff like that. So that's pretty neat, you know, this isn't bad. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to have this displayed because I do prefer, you know, my regular uh, retail version one. I can see why you ditched it, you know. You're like, oh, okay, I don't need this one anymore. I got the vintage collection. I'll just send it to Shardimus. And then we get these awesome claws right over here from Cano Beans for your Wolverine figures. And holy crap, okay. Now this is the style number one set right here. And these are made out of actual stainless steel. Uh, when this came to me, it had all kinds of warning and stuff. This is for adult collectors. Like, you know, don't let kids play with these. I mean, yeah, you really don't want these around kids at all. But, man, that is so badass. Oh, that is so freaking cool. Such a nice level up right over here. So, uh, the tightest fit was on the Unmasked Wolverine, the Vintage Collection Wolverine that you can see right here. It does fit a little bit differently on each of these. And then the loosest fit is on the latest X-Force Wolverine figure. So, um, but I like how they all look, man. So, you can see style number one is just like a stainless steel version of the regular Wolverine claws. I have, uh, I can't remember which wave... Puck wave, I don't know, but yeah, you can see how, how similar it is next to a retail version right there. So it's basically like your stainless steel retail version. But then you get style number two, and this has these nice looking classic claws. It has, you know, more of that rounded arch kind of thing. And I really like this for the classic Wolverine or the two pack with the with the Hulk figure. So that looks great. Now they recommend if you're having you know any any tough time putting these in, just heat them up with a hair dryer and it'll fit like way easier. Like especially with this one. This one was pretty tight. As soon as I use a hair dryer, they just pop right in super easy. So I like that. My favorite out of the three of these though is the style number three. Uh, this is also you know very similar to the latest X Force Wolverine figure, and I just think this is just incredible so i really like this. this is the apocalypse wave wolverine figure and damn 
this looks so badass oh, i really love these that is so cool so they're they are a little on the thick side i will say that and that made me kind of feel like oh that's like a, i guess that's kind of a downside is that they look like they're just a little bit too thick but i'm telling you something man when you look at them from a little bit farther away and not like really really far away but you know like looking at your shelf kind of distance it has more of a presence they reflect light really well so it, it doesn't really stand out as being too big or annoying in that kind of way at all it's just freaking cool so yeah i'm gonna have to have mine displayed like this with these claws now i just absolutely love it man now he also got some other can of beams accessories like these blood effects right here which i think are dope these are freaking awesome really like that a lot uh they sent this one right over here as well so that's very cool and then there's also this one right over here so you can get some sticky tack going which was included so I'll just take a little piece of this off and put that on there and then pew, put that on right there and now it looks like a bullet wound now i did put way too much sticky tack on it. <laughs> here let's see like half the amount of sticky tack looks like it would have been the best amount so let's see how it looks like uh, still kind of a lot so you want to figure out how to get it hidden but you can see that like that doesn't look too bad so that's cool. I really like having the blood effects. That's awesome. I really like that a lot. And then you have these extensions over here. So there's at least four different kinds. These are stand extensions. They have this one right here, which has standard size and variant size peg holes. And then you get this one right over here, uh, which has some standard Mezco, some variant Mezco holes, and Revel Tech and Tamashi holes. So that's cool. So these are all the M model M multi base. Then there's this smaller one, which is actually my favorite one right here. Uh, this is for Tamashi Figma, Mafex, uh, Revel Tech, and Obitsu. So you can use this for several ones. I, I actually just ended up going through trial and error with these. Like that, that's just kind of what worked best for me. Actually, I think this is the one that worked out best for me right here. This has Tamashi and then Figma and then. Android, uh, Obitsa, Revel Tech, Mafex. So yeah, you want to look them up online, go through the various different stands, see which one would work best for you for what you need. Uh, this is like a Mafex stand with a Figma stand attached. So I thought that worked out pretty well. The only downside was that my Mafex stands, which is my favorite, I could only find one port for this particular Mafex stand instead of two. So having two of those would have been a little bit easier for me, but I was able to just use a stand from a different brand and mix and match them. And then we have these accessories from Daredevil. 19 thank you so much daredevil 19 these are awesome so this cape right here oh my goodness i love this freaking thing so just to see what the cape looked like before for my black series mandalorian and then here it is after and whew. now this thing just peels off you don't have to take off the helmet or anything it just peels away and then this just peels over and man i love this fabric and i love how tattered and cut up this looks right here that is really good looking and I love this you know, suede material. It's very nice. I like suede. And we do get bendy wires in here, which is just incredible. I love that there's more than two bendy wires. So you get a bendy wire that goes all the way around. So you can see that's on both sides. But then you get these extra two bendy wires in the middle that help with even more posability. And that is just so freaking cool really dig this a lot thank you so much man and thank you for the well wishes on the recovery and everything you know everyone's just been very gracious and thank you guys so this is freaking awesome i really like this and then we also get these chains right over here which are incredible so yeah the first thought for me was spawn and i attached these right here with spawn but you can use them for ghost rider if you wanted to you can see these picks right over here i used this with scorpion i thought that worked out pretty well with the storm collectible scorpion but i really like these man that's so cool we get the studs right over here i need to buy some studs for my jacket i really want some studs but anyway that looks pretty sick i really like this a lot this is kind of an old trick i remember i used to do back in the day where if you had an actual metal chain or steel chain you could run a, a wire through it and then make it posable but like yeah this is like way better than what i did way back in the day it's just locked in and just working out very well so i really like this a lot that is just too cool so i did have some fun with these and yeah very cool looking with the spawn figure as well so i really like these a lot thanks for sending two of these out i really appreciate it man measure out one of these chains it's at about 10 inches across so that's some pretty good length and then we have this incredible dio from will graves who's not only a supporter of this channel but man he sent this over and 
Thank you so much. I actually saw this on his Instagram a while ago. He had Ghost Rider pose with it, and I just thought it looked really dope. I had no idea he was going to send it my way. Unfortunately, I did break it just taking it out of the packaging. I think what had happened was me lifting it by one side, put too much pressure on it, and it snapped right over here. So you will see that. However, that's not stopping me from being able to have fun with this and take some really good pictures. I took pictures of my Diamond Select Toys Taskmaster with this, and man, this thing is just really freaking cool. I mean, look at that. It says Big Russ's Garage right there. Now, I don't remember if it said that at the time or not when I saw this first posted on Instagram. I don't think it did. I can't remember, but I didn't notice that part. It was like all of this is what really distracted me, which is great because I don't like it when dials have custom written text in the background and it distracts me from the overall piece. So that's just very well done right there. It does have this accessory right here. So we get this rusty drum, which looks so damn sick. I really like this a lot. That is so cool. Love all that rusty grime and everything. Very well done, man. And then it comes with a little light in here. So a little candlelight thing. You can just switch this on. You can see it doing a little bit of flickering. And then you can just leave it aside like that. And, and I kind of have too much light going on inside here, but or around the review station anyway. But you can see how that's going to leave some light going. So if it's really dark in here, that's going to shine a whole lot brighter. And then you get an LED light, or I get an LED light all the way up top over here. And it just poured it into the side of the wall right there. And you just flip that on and that is sick. So now you have some backlighting so that your figure is not all in the dark and being covered. You know, you get these canopy pieces here. The sides, you just all put them together. And they're held together via magnet. And then I just really love the details. The asphalt and everything looks really good right here. I really love the painted detail on the bricks. And then you have this grate right here, which is clear and underneath, so you can sneak a figure underneath there. Uh, this is slightly transparent, so uh, some images that I took, you could see the color come through the back of those windows, which is awesome. I love all this detail with the bricks. It's so realistic. I love that. Oh, we have this pipe right over here. You get some drainage. And then you can see some paint right here for the garage. That is sick. And this is an actual metal chain right here. So I really like that. Nice text with the big Russ's garage right there. I love that. And then this light system is really cool. There's bendy wire in here. So this is actually like not really connected to the light itself, but it looks like it is. So that's just really cool. I love this a lot. It's all made out of foam. It's fairly light. It's compact. You could fold it up and put it aside. It's just really dope. And I like how the top looks right here. You made sure to even paint out the top of it. So this is freaking awesome. I mean, just expect to see this more in uh, my photos in the future because I'm just so stoked to have a street dio right here. I've never had a street dio before. So, man, I am so pleased with this. Thank you so much, Will. Dude, you are awesome, man. Thank you. Give him a follow. His link is in the description below. Actually, yeah, check out everybody's links that I put in the description below. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. Wait, now I have to see if these electro hands will fit right here. Hold on. Hey, that does work. But yeah, a big thanks to everybody that supports this YouTube channel via crowdfunding. I really appreciate it, you guys. And make sure you follow me over on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And if you want to send any of your custom work, I'll gladly review it in a Shardimus Viewer Custom Showcase. I do play for keeps. I know people have talked about sending me stuff and I send it back. I'm too scared of ruining something and not being able to give it back in the condition that it showed up. So yeah, if you send something my way, uh, I play for keepsies. So if you're interested in having your stuff show up in one one of these videos send over to PO box 384 Pacifica California 94044 now there are two other pieces that I did not talk about in this video that I actually wanted to talk about but it would have just been way too long uh, we have this Shardimus Prime custom that I actually haven't done a review of I'm gonna give this its own whole video I didn't think there was as much stuff going on with this until I just recently opened it for this video and there's just so much badass in there that I didn't know about and oh my god so yeah that deserves its own video and then Spider Cholo over here. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a whole review just dedicated to Spider Cholo right over here. So I, I, so originally I was going to include both of those pieces in this video, but this video would have just been way, way too long. Anyway, I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will catch you later. Peace!
Hey, I'm sure of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.